Andreas Moano's family can't sleep at night, can't rest through the wailing sirens and the floodlights at night. They said they are looking for oil here, he says, and worrying about the land, the land, he says, an oil firm took from them. Yeah, your place is my, my place. Yeah, it's, um, it's your place. Uh, Andreas and his son Samuel, even scared to take us closer to the rig, through their own cornfields. They told us to go away. How do you feel about that? I feel very angry about it. Very, very angry. It even hurts me. It's not right because this land belongs to me. And someone who came somewhere far just to grab it from me. A staggering swath of land, more than 13,000 square miles or some 30,000 square kilometers, is what the Canadian oil company Recon Africa has secured in an exclusive exploration deal. So this is the rig that they're exploring to find if there's oil in this region. But if they actually find oil, this will be just one of many, many rigs like this. Every basin of this depth in the world produces commercial levels of hydrocarbons. It just it makes sense. So you're feeling pretty confident? I'm confident, yes. This particular site... Confident because Recon Africa's founder, Craig Stanky, scoured the globe for the next and maybe last giant onshore oil play. Striking oil here could be worth billions of dollars, but it is one of the world's climate change hotspots. As the world gets warmer, this zone will get warmer than anywhere else in Africa. Do you see the irony of exploring for oil in this very spot? I think you got, you know, the oil is where you find it. Not far from the rig, a sensitive water system flows into the Kavango River and into one of the world's last wild spaces, the Okavango Delta. Environmentalists and scientists told us Namibia should focus on renewables and not risk a polluting industry they say is dying. Stanky says they have complied with all environmental laws. You can see this is about half inch high grade steel. Like this is pretty, this is pretty serious stuff. There's just no way that the water can have any contact with production. I mean, I say to these people who are critics, who've likely never been to Namibia, uh, nor uh, let alone the Kavango region, come to the Kavango and let's just have a look at the environment. And then you tell me that these people don't deserve uh, a better lifestyle, especially if they're sitting on, standing on a major source of energy. We asked the Kung of Namibia, the first people, what they thought. Yeah, so they've been here for months exploring and not a single person from Recon Africa has visited this uh, sand community. I'm worried if they come here, they will say that it is a good thing that they are doing here, says Paulus Mokoso, but they won't say the bad things. Here, he says, they survive on the meager pensions of their elders until the money runs out each month. They need work, and they wonder if oil can provide it. Nature is important to me, he says, but if you get up and go into nature... There's nothing left. They, they just leave me behind because I'm no more important. Like, I owe this land. Do you feel they are disrespecting you? Very much. Very much. Very, very much. After months without answers, Andreas Mawano says a Recon Africa executive finally visited him. The week CNN arrived. And that is the first time that they spoke to you? I asked him. Yeah. Yes, he says. And she brought her card. She warned me not to speak to outsiders like you. <laughs> One of your colleagues uh, went to Andreas and said he shouldn't speak to outsiders like us. That doesn't sound like a transparent attitude. Yeah, I have no knowledge of that. I have no knowledge of that. Recon Africa says it has the right permits to drill here, claims the land hadn't been allocated to the family by traditional authorities. But Stanky admits they can do better with community outreach. And at the end of our interview, just days after we met, the company brings Andreas and Samuel over. Surrounded by Recon executives and a company lawyer, they say they are cooperating. We don't have any problem. David McKenzie, CNN, East Kavango, Namibia.